Okay, everybody, we have the, um, the mating nuke now. Um, as I was explaining previously, we've got the queen, we've got her up here on the box, see her in a minute. And we'll be putting her into uh, this hive in front of me here now. But um, this is a queen right hive, so that means that they've got a laying queen. Um, so uh, again, I'm doing this all in my back garden this time around because of the, the lockdown and we're trying our best to, to not um, go out unnecessarily. So I've got that queen now that's obviously hatched and now what do I do with her? So I'm going to be running an experiment on this, um, uh, on this nuke of mine here. This is a five frame nuke and it is a queen that I've bred and this is um, the, the swarm I was referring to earlier um, in the other video where I mentioned it was a double um, five frame nuke so they, they went from a three frame to a five frame to to basically five over five um, and I then split them and the box on the left of them here is actually what was their top compartment and they got a queen um, six days ago last week uh, Friday so we'll be checking them um, in, a, in about four days too. but right now um, I don't have another one that's queenless and I don't really want to be pulling frames and, and making a split so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the mother hive and I'm going to be adding a second chamber to the bottom of this and I'll be adding in um, uh, uh, two frames of brood to the bottom um, and I'll be leaving the queen with um, uh, two frames uh, of brood at the top um, so the idea here is going to be that the top chamber will have my laying queen I will have a queen excluder and there will be some brood and bees um, in the bottom chamber will be, where we will be introducing the queen. As I mentioned, I'm going to be putting the queen in um, this evening in a cage. I normally just do the direct introduction, but because um, with this being a queen right hive and the workforce that's going in and out, um, I'm, I am a bit concerned about just releasing her directly. So I will be t um, uh, just a little bit more cautious. I'll, I'll rather leave her in the cage uh, for 24 hours. So, right, I promote always wearing gloves. Um, these sort of small swarms are not really that aggressive, um, but I always wear some form of protection or most of the time. And I, I, I promote uh, wearing gloves at all times when working with the African bee. Um, so I'm a firm believer in wearing gloves. I always start off with um, just a bit of smoke and again we use a decent amount of smoke let the bees know that we're coming I'm going to be removing the feed off the top and there's a little feeder hole at the top here I'm just going to be blowing some smoke down through right that there for now Actually loose, so I'm gonna blow a bit of smoke over the top. It's actually really quite a small swarm now since I've done the split, and they're very sitting very tight because of all the. Um, let me actually bring it over here. Okay, this is what the inside looks like. You'll see they're covering a good three, four frames, the top. So I'm gonna be dropping probably the two best looking brood frames I'll be dropping into the other brood chamber over here and I will be leaving them two frames in the top with the queen I'm going to be going through it now and hopefully we'll be able to find the queen and uh, I'll be able to show you she's also marked she is a, a, a young queen from earlier this year uh, I think uh, bred her I think it was January okay I've changed the angle of this camera a little bit for you so that you can hopefully see a bit better what's going on inside the box here firstly I want to see if I can find our queen if I can find a frame with our queen on it's going to be easier just to move her into the top chamber so that's what I'm going to be looking for first see if I can find her bees are nice and calm so the chances are I should be able to 
find it. Just want to pull some frames. So the frames that I'll be replacing them with are going to be frames of foundation. And I've got one frame here of some drawn comb that I'll be placing as we go. So just put more smoke so that they stay down. I like to keep the bees below the, the top bars of the frames and then I know that they're nice and calm. As soon as they start to come up like this here, they start to get aggressive. So I just give them some smoke so that they go down. And they are starting to run a little bit. So let's just see here. frame of brood not the best looking brood but it's a frame of brood nonetheless just looking for our queen at this stage a good brood on this side you see they're starting again with the super siege cell at the top here this is what I say, these bees, it's exactly where I think I removed the others from the last time. And it's got an egg in it, so I'm not too sure why these bees keep wanting to supersede this queen. But I'll allow them to develop that. Bring it a bit closer here for you to see that supersede your cell there. And it's actually got an egg in it. So... The bees always know something that we don't, so it might actually be worth allowing them to replace this queen, even though I put her in as a young queen at the start of this year. So I just want to keep that frame out of my way for now and go on to the next one. The bees are really nice and calm, which I like. I like seeing them like this. They're not flying. They, there's our queen running here with the blue dot on her head. Beautiful queen. Have a good look at her there. She's a really nice size queen. So I've got no idea what they're finding wrong with her. She's got what to me is a good brood pattern going here. Lots of brood in this hive. So good. Because I found her, she's going now into this box over here with the brood that she's got. And I think what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to add that frame and add that frame of drawn comb and give them just foundation at the bottom so that the queen's got a new fr frame to start to lay on. Move that over slightly. And that I'm going to put probably right into the middle of the brood nest now. So I might as well just take this frame here and put it in a, next to this one this will finish up my top so all i want is two frames at the top so i now know that my queen is in the bottom oh, sorry my queen is in the top i'll be able to put my virgin queen in in the bottom that frame in there right so now i just I'm going to have a look at the rest of the frames while I'm at it. Let's just assess them and see what's going on here. It's another good frame of brood. I'm not unhappy with this queen's lane pattern. I don't understand why they are wanting to supersede her. I do see that it looks to me like she's closing, or the bees are choosing as well to close down. The brood chamber now there's not a lot of new brood or they're not expanding the brood pattern so to say so that could have something to do with them wanting to supersede her they might be thinking that she's not performing for some other reason i've got no idea and then these sheets of foundation were put in very recently i think they were put in last week memory serves me so you'll see how they've just started on the one side 
they've built the one side of this out nicely the other side they've still got to go they're starting a little bit here at the bottom but that's about it but I'm okay with that I'm going to move that to the middle the bees will start to draw that out now and this one I'm sure is going to be the same yep they're just starting on the bottom on that side on this side they've drawn and they've filled up with syrup um, or nectar I think it's there's a bit of nectar still coming in but it's a lot of um, syrup that I've been feeding these bees as well and then I'm going to just add in two more foundation sheets I've left an opening and the reason for that is for this um, cage to be able to fit in um, otherwise if I put the queen excluder on top it's gonna it's gonna be in the way so it's the only reason I'm doing it like this Close them up now and we're going to feed them. And feed it back on. And that's it. Okay, so now that we're done, this is what it looks like. Um, we've got a 5 over 5 here. And what we've done, just to recap quickly, is in the top, the top chamber we put the frame of uh, brood with a queen on it. And we have a, a frame of drawn comb and then we have another frame of um, uh, of brood out of the the main main hive and then we've got two um, foundation sheets on the side in the bottom remember we've left one frame out so that I could make space in the middle just to put the cage in for um, the night the queen cage and we've got one frame of brood we've got the two partially drawn foundation sheets and we've got um, two or we've got one new foundation sheet on the right hand side and this this sheet will go in tomorrow into the left hand side here when we release the queen in between we've got our queen excluder um, as I mentioned it's a little bit wider and that's just because I use the same queen excluder on on the five and the, and the six frame boxes but it does seal up nicely on the edges you'll notice there's no there's no way that the bees can get through so I'm happy with that and then something I haven't mentioned is I've just blocked off uh, some of the entrances just to reduce the space for the bees I don't like the bees to have too much uh, space unnecessarily for them but there we go, that's it. Now we'll recap tomorrow evening when we release the Queen.